Hello friends and welcome back to It's Cocktail Time. Today friends, we're going to make the Ouzo Tini, which is, as you may have guessed, a version of a martini with Ouzo in it. We'll discuss what Ouzo is in a minute, but I will tell you to start that this wonderful bottle of Ouzo came to me via my daughter, who is, uh, I think, what anybody would call a world traveler at this point. She's been to a lot of countries. Anyway, she was in Greece a little while ago and she brought me back some Ouzo, so I've decided to use it. Thank you so much, sweetheart. It's so good. All right, let's make the Ouzo Tini. All right, we're gonna start by rimming this glass with sugar. So I already poured a little bit of vodka, which is one of the ingredients in the drink, onto this dish just to get the rim wet. And now we're going to coat the rim in white sugar. Wow, that looks so pretty. Let's see. Very nice. Very snowy looking, right? Okay. Uh, we'll set that aside. And now we're gonna take our shaker with no ice and to it, we're going to add an ounce of ouzo. One and an ounce of vodka. One and two ounces of pineapple juice. Isn't that interesting? Let's see. Pre-measured, which is in this can. All right, good. And just the tiniest bit, one thirty-second of an ounce. Yes, that's right of lime juice. So just basically a dribble. All right, now we will add our ice and we're gonna shake it up. I'm excited to try this. I think this is wonderful. And when we are done shaking it up, we are going to strain the cocktail into our chilled cocktail glass with the sugared rim. Very pretty. All right. This drink is garnished with a lime wedge, which we will set artfully on the side. And now we will try the Ouzo Tini. Mm. It's very good. You know, it's very complex. So what we've got is the black licorice flavor of the Ouzo the sharpness, just the hint of sharpness of the vodka, the sweetness of the pineapple juice, and the tartness of the lime juice. Um, it's very good. It's very interesting. Mm. I like it. All right, let's talk about ouzo for a moment. So ouzo was one of a group of liqueurs that were created by these monks on Mount Athos in the 1300s, a long time ago. Their most popular liqueur was the one flavored with anise, which is black licorice flavored, and that eventually became ouzo. Ouzo became such a popular export for Greece that in 2006, uh, Greece acquired the international right to uh, claim this as an exclusively Greek product. So if you have something that's called ouzo that's made any place but in Greece, it ain't ouzo. <laughs> anyway, this is real ouzo from Greece. And it is really, really good. You know, I didn't really like black licorice growing up, but now I like all sorts of things that are flavored with black licorice. For instance, absinthe, which also has a black licorice taste. Um, and ouzo, this is just wonderful. And I think this cocktail is a, a great um, alternative to the various types of martinis that are on cocktail menus these days. I think this is really wonderful, complex and interesting. Hmm. Drink up. Enjoy.